It will cost more than a million dollars over three years, but it's money that will put Baldwin County students at the forefront of getting a bilingual education. Yeah, the money is going toward the school system's contract with online language tutor Rosetta Stone. The program is set to launch in 2014. Local 15's James Gordon joins us from our Baldwin County newsroom tonight. Well, James, last month the school board approved Rosetta Stone for all the schools. Well, Kim Rosetta Stone will be available to all Baldwin County students, elementary, middle, and high school students. Some principals have already started sending out emails to parents and students preparing them for the big language blitz. The vision is to graduate students fluent in a foreign language. That will market them really well out in, in the job world. Once students return from Christmas break, each will be issued special headphones like the one this student is wearing at Daphne High School. 25 languages to choose from. And you can progress through a language very quickly if you have a little bit of knowledge, maybe about Spanish, for example. You start at level one, but you can test out of it and then move on to a more challenging curriculum. The challenge now is for students to pick a language and sign up for it through their school sign-up page online. It's an engaging program that kids really enjoy. I mean, I've had teachers tell me that when their students get done with the regular classwork, they'll go get on Rosetta Stone. The plan is for each student to spend 15 to 20 minutes a day in school learning the language of their choice. At our school, we've selected our second block class. And so every day in second block, they will sit down for 15 minutes. Well, Rosetta Stone is considered an enrichment course, not for credit, at least for now. Three high schools, however, Daphne, Robertsdale, and Baldwin County High, will take part in an online four-credit language course through Middlebury College. We're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, Local 15 News.